Well, the U.S. Bishops Conference supports a request to name St. John Henry Newman a doctor of the church. If this happens and Newman's named a doctor, we should really take advantage of that. Study his writings deeply. I think it might help to heal some of the divisions in our church. Now, the request was overwhelmingly approved during the second public day of the bishops' fall assembly. Several bishops stood and voiced their support for the measure. The request now heads to the Holy Father. I would go now to Dr. Matthew Bunsen, editorial director for EWTN News. Matthew, great to have you back. As we just heard, the bishops voted almost unanimously to ask the Holy Father to declare St. John Henry Newman a doctor of the church. So talk to us more about that, the significance, and what it would mean for the faithful. Yes, well, the bishops were acting on a request that was made uh, to them by the Episcopal Conference of England and Wales. Uh, this is a request uh, that the Holy Father listen uh, to their appeal uh, and name St. John Henry Newman a doctor of the church. Obviously, uh, as many of the bishops uh, stated today, he is uh, one of the most prominent of the, the great theologians of the modern era, a beloved and famed convert. He was a cardinal. But their argument, too, is that he's very relevant to our time today, uh, that he is a figure uh, who can bridge gaps uh, between various factions in the church, but also have powerful appeal uh, to the wider world that is increasingly secularized. If uh, one thinks uh, that this might not be effective, all we have to do is look back at the U.S. bishops made an appeal to the popes uh, over St. John of Avila, and he was named a doctor of the church in 2019. They also asked Pope Francis to name St. Irenaeus of Lyon a doctor of the church, and that happened just a couple of years after that. So it could have an effect, uh, and I think the bishops very here clearly uh, want this to, ha to happen as soon as possible. Yeah, and also today uh, the bishops uh, approved an update on their much-discussed document forming the Consciousness for Faithful Citizenship, their statement on Catholics at elections. What does the document say, and was there any controversy? Well, it's a statement uh, that perhaps the most exciting news of the day was uh, the request uh, to name John Henry Newman a doctor of the church. I say that because uh, there was some expectation that there might be debate or even rancor among the bishops over the text uh, for the introduction to this uh, document on helping Catholics to form their consciences uh, before they vote. As it turns out, the vote was, I think, 225 to 11. Uh, to keep the document as it is, but then to add in a new introduction, a new letter. And in that letter, they state once again the preeminence of abortion uh, among the different issues that Catholics need to consider. They included other key issues such as euthanasia, uh, human trafficking, migration, war, uh, and the threats to the family, transgender, and of course, the climate. But the bishops were very firm that let's not make any serious changes right now as we're heading into the 24 election. What this does tell us, however, is that we can expect uh, quite a bit of discussion in subsequent years uh, as the bishops address what they need to do to keep this document relevant and whether or not major changes should take place. Well, Matthew, thank you so much for your time today and all your insights. We appreciate it as always. Good to be with you.